Today I'm going to talk to you about what blood pressure is and how you manage it, measure it manually, and why it works. So first of all, as a review, when we talk about blood pressure, we give two numbers, a top number and a bottom number. The top number is systolic blood pressure. The bottom number is diastolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure represents in millimeters of mercury the amount of pressure present in the arteries when the heart contracts or during systole. Diastolic blood pressure is the pressure in the arteries when the heart is relaxed or during diastole. The way that we measure this manually with a manual blood pressure cuff relies on essentially the physical principle of laminar versus turbulent flow. So functionally what we do is the blood pressure cuff, which has to be appropriately sized to get an accurate reading, is wrapped over the upper arm in such a way that the bladder will occlude the brachial artery as it's inflated. We then take our stethoscope and we listen over the brachial pulse point. Now, a tip, it's very, very helpful to physically palpate the brachial pulse before placement of your stethoscope head. So, as we inflate the cuff, what we're doing is we are inflating the cuff so that it, we are increasing cuff pressure above the pressure necessary to occlude flow in the artery during systole. Once we occlude flow in the artery past systole, we will hear no sound when we auscultate over the pulse point. As we start to reduce pressure in the cuff, when the pressure drops below the point at which our systolic blood pressure is, we will start to have turbulent flow in the artery that will break by the pressure exerted from the cuff on the artery so that with every beat of the heart, there is blood flow passing actively, but basically in front of the head of the stethoscope. We hear that flow, we hear the actual turbulence there as the blood bounces off the walls of the artery as the tapping sound that we hear during our measurement of blood pressure. That's called a Corot cough sound. As we continue to reduce cuff pressure, blood flow will continue to pulse by the obstruction presented by the cuff until the cuff pressure is lower than the diastolic pressure. Once the cuff, flow is, cuff pressure is lower than the diastolic pressure, the blood will flow laminarly. There will be no impediment to blood flow during either systole or diastole, and so we will no longer hear any sound as there is no turbulence to make the blood bounce off the walls of the artery and make sound that we can hear with us at the scope. I hope this clarifies how blood pressure is measured and the physical principles behind how we use the stethoscope to hear the sounds created by a blood pressure measurement.